Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, this is just a quick update video. I'm actually talking through some earbuds right now because I'm doing some sanding and listening to music. Anyway, quick little update. This is probably going to be for a new video. I have been sanding down both the, this is called the dynamic chamber, which I called random upper intake thing. And I've been sanding that down. That's not gotten all the treatment yet because it's hard to work around the back valve and sandpaper is obviously tricky. But I've been using this wire brush to get most of the actual like coating off of it and now i'm going with some 60 grit 100 grit and then 150 grit to get it smoother and get ready for um, paint and i'm using this um engine enamel um it's just black paint with some clear coat and hopefully it makes it look nice i have enough duct tape to cover all the the threads and like the holes and everything on the intake side and the throttle body side and all the vacuum lines everywhere which uh, another little thing to add found out all of these they get uh, they get capped with little little vacuum caps not sure about this I doubt that gets capped um well, yeah that's what I've been doing if I make any more progress I'll let you guys know but for now I'm sending this down one to kind of like a in progress shot of it if I have pictures of it I'll show what it looks like you know, from 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 the factory, which is like a, a nice gray to be fair, but I want to paint it black. Now, I guess I'll get to start with getting this sanded down and hopefully getting it painted today. It is kind of late. I decided to do this at like seven o'clock, but yep. Long intro aside, hopefully I'll have another update maybe today or whenever. I don't know when I'm gonna actually get that get, get this painted. It's going to be a pain. So, I got it painted, but an unfortunate turn of events, I was stupid, and I used paint that was still tacky, and I put it on top of this upside down to paint the underneath, and, well, as you can see, it went ahead and pulled some of the paint right off. I actually didn't even do anything. I think, I think this actually got wet, because um, I was doing it outside. Um... But well, I pulled some of the paint off, and there's some there's some some paper in there, so I gotta let this cure entirely overnight and re-sand down a lot of the top, so I can respray it. But it does. I really do like how it's looking. It does look really cool. I might I might just try to pick at some of this and see if I can salvage it, because it's, it's looking pretty cool. Just unfortunately didn't make the smartest of decisions. So I'll put some screenshots up because I didn't record it because it's kind of like very impulsive. But I took the wire brush to the still tacky paint and I prop it up kind of in this area so the bottom would not touch anything and wouldn't get, you know, ruined like the top did. And then I decided to set up my own little paint booth right here. But, um, it gives you a good look of what we're going to be having. Um, hopefully I won't be getting any too, like, too many contaminants or anything in there. Um, trying to keep, you know, obviously everything back off of it. And nothing's touching down there, so that's good. This is probably the best way I could have gone about it. It's currently propped up like that. Um, I'll probably put some stuff on top of it. Just so it doesn't fall and ruin the paint on the bottom. But that is currently kind of what the end product will look like. Obviously I'll show an after. Um, the top isn't staying black. Where it says uh, 13B injection. That's actually most likely going to be sanded down to silver. If I end up not liking it too much in black, because I, if anything, I'll just go over it with silver, or I might get a paint pen, just go over top of everything, and then I'll lay my layer of clear coat over it. All right, now looks pretty cool. Anyway, until the next update. Here we are, day two, and this is what the paint looks like entirely dry. It's still a little bit kind of tacky, a little bit still. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm so happy with this. It looks really, really good. 
Part of me just wants to get ahead and jump right to hold me back on this just to see what it would look like, but I still got some clear coat to do. So I guess that's what's going to be doing. I guess that's what I'm going to be doing next is adding some clear coat. And then I should, then I'll be done. And then I can take everything off of it. Like tape wise, I mean. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that and then do a little update afterwards. This time I'm going to start with the bottom. So in a really unfortunate turn of events, um, the paint, I think on top was still too tacky or something, or maybe it reacted bad to the clear coat. Or maybe the clear coat was just too thick, but all the paint is like really, really runny. There's some spots on top where it's fine. I don't know what happened. I'm kind of disappointed. Um, I don't know where all the paint is bad. Right here is definitely a problem spot. Um, there's some marking in here. Some mark there. I, th I don't even think that will come out with it if I wipe that off with a rag. That's a mar that's in the paint. That's a mark in it. Um, I think the best chance, the best option I have right now is to go ahead and take a wire, take the wire brush back to it and sand it entirely back down, and then. Or at least sand down most of the problem spots and then like just go quickling over top of it. During this update's like only a few minutes later. Um I'm starting to sand down the top of it back down to the the base like that of metal. And from what I can tell, it could still be salvageable. It's obviously not gonna look great, but as you can see like where it's scratched up and stuff. But I think if I just sand it down very lightly, down like a layer, um, I could probably just recoat the top because a lot of it still turned out pretty all right. Yeah, another update, uh, really quickly after the other one. People that are painters out there are probably like screaming at me, but I decided that I had this brilliant idea of just, you know, elevating it so none of the paint touches. I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but this is on the runners on top of the, like, you know, the tape that's right here. And that gives me access to paint right here properly. These are on the studs, which are painted, uh, which are taped. And yeah, so I'm going to mimic this down there, put another coat of black on it, try to get really good coverage, and then let it sit for like days.